नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट ईच एंड एवरी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ नंबर इन डिटेल ओके लेट्स सी अबाउट अ नेचुरल नंबर वॉट इज मीन बाई नेचुरल नंबर मीन इज नथिंग बट इज लाइक वन टू थ्री ओके सो नंबर विच आर यूज फॉर काउंटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर प्लीज नोट अ वन थिंग काउंटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट the numbers which are used for counting the object or called natural number so it will starts from 1 to the have i have a one marker have a one desktop okay i have a two eyes i have a two hands so i have a zero hands i can't say okay so we cannot take a zero as a number because the number which is used to count the object is called a natural number so natural number will always starts from 1 2 3 and so on okay so next whole number so whole number where is the name itself having a meaning whole number means the whole its coverage of every number okay so when zero is included in the natural number then it is called the whole number okay when we are including the zero in the number then it is called as a whole number it's not a natural number okay so natural numbers means the numbers which can be used for counting alone it is called as a natural number so it may you know about it so we cannot use a zero as to count the number so whereas when we are including the zero in the number system, Then, then it is called as a whole number. So next integer. All natural numbers, zero and negatives of natural numbers are called as a integer. So integer is nothing but every natural number which having a negatives and a zero. It is called as a integer. Listen it here. Minus three, minus two, minus one, and it starts zero, one, two, three, and so on. So all natural numbers. Zero and negatives of natural numbers are called as a integer. Next, rational number. So, <clears throat> the number which can be expressed in the form of p and q. For example, we will uh, allow uh, allowing us assign us some number to the character. For example, a is equal to five, b is equal to uh, five. Then C is equal to a plus b. So this is all the small uh, like an um, uh, programming. For example, a is equal to five, b is equal to five, c is equal to a plus b. So what is meant by c? It is ten. Okay, you may know because a having a five and b having a five. So calculating. So this type of a calculation is called a rational number. So we will assign a number to some characters. Okay. So the number which can be expressed in the form of p and q. Where p and q are an integer, then q not equivalent to zero or called a rational number. So rational number it is called like a this type of a number is called a rational number. Next irrational number. So whereas irrational number, the number which cannot return in the form of. So it is exactly opposite to the integer. So whereas in an integer we always write the numbers like a p and q and q is not equivalent zero and we will uh, no we will process on that way. So rational uh, irrational number is exactly opposite. The number which cannot be written in the form of p and q where a p and q are integers and q not Equal and zero. Example: These type of number: root three, root seven, pi. So these number is called a irrational number. So natural number. So natural number means the number which is used to count the object is called a natural number. Whereas a whole number, whole number is a collective of every number. So we are uh, including the zero. Okay. So whereas integer. So integer it's like a zeros, the negatives of a natural numbers. So rational and irrational number means a rational number like a p is equal to five, q is equal to uh, zero, q not equal to so these type of a number is called a rational number. Whereas the irrational number it exactly opposite to the rational number. Next real number. So real number includes both rational as well as a irrational numbers. Okay. So that is a positive or negative or large or small. or it may be a whole number or a decimal number it may be okay so it's a collection of uh, rational and irrational is called a real number next imaginary number so imaginary number is a complex 
number that can be written as a real number so it is a like in a complex number that can be written as a real numbers next one prime number a prime number is a natural number greater than 1 and is divisible only by 1 itself uh, itself okay that is called a prime number so prime number is nothing but natural numbers that countable natural numbers that should be greater than 1 okay, that should be greater than 1 and it should be divisible by itself for example these are the prime number for example 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 or the prime number for example for prime number so if it takes a 2 2 is a greater than 1 so first one is okay so where is that 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 so the every number is a greater than 1 so first condition satisfied so second condition let's see the second condition so a 2 can be divided by 2 for example 2 divided by 2 1 so 3 divided by 3 so the same number can be divided divisible by itself so it is called as a uh, prime number okay so next composite number a number other than 1 which is not a prime number is called a composite number that is a 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15. So this is called as a composite number okay other than 1 it is called as a which is not a prime number is called as a composite number. So we will sh the composite number means we cannot take up 1 okay as like that we cannot take all the prime number so without prime number and without one number one it is every num other number it is called as a composite number next co prime number so co prime number means two numbers are said to be a co prime for example 2 comma 3 4 comma 5 so these two number is called as a prime number so set to number I have a two number so it is a co prime number okay so real number so real number means rational as well as the irrational number it is called as a real number so whereas the imaginary number is a uh, the Im complex number can be written as a real number next prime number so prime number means the number should be greater than 1 and it should be divisible by itself it is called as a prime number next composite number so composite number means without except one and except prime number it, uh, that every number other number it is called as a composite number co prime number means set of a two number two two prime number it is called as a co prime number okay next we are going to see about even numbers so even numbers means the number which is divisible by two is called a even number if you for example if you take four six eight so every number is can be divisible by two okay so these are these number is called as a even number so numbers may be any number but the given number should be divisible by two it is called as a even number next odd number so odd number means it's exactly opposite to the even number the given number which is does not divisible by 2 it is called as a odd number for example 3 9 so these are the number which is we, we cannot perform a divisible division by 2 so this is called a odd number okay so so far we have seen about uh, the basic introduction of a uh, mathematics and what is a uh, mathematic tricks is nothing but now we are going to do a uh, vedic mathematics and before going into the proper vedic mathematics so we have just see about the introduction about numbers what is meant by numbers and what are the different types of a uh, classification of a uh, numbers it's like in a real number integers uh, rational irrationals okay so we have seen about a uh, classification of number next class from the next class onwards we are going to see about a proper vedic mathematics okay